Wir müssen mal gucken, ob das, äh, äh, ob das Haus einen Keller hat. Da haben wir den Raben auch gemacht. Gibt noch einen dritten Stock. Ja, yeah, hey, Bro. Hey, Bro. Hey, Bro. Kind of people. I can't remember ever having a family event without one tucked away in a room somewhere. Due diligence always trumped the family. I think he's here to cut us from her will. Very ridiculous. Imagine the scandal if the firstborn son didn't pick up the torch. That will never happen. Pour emotion into that instrument, huh? Painkillers. Lethal if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler 47? Yeah, I'm not even so. Arrive. I heard some of the delivery people were unhappy with the security at the gate. Well, I'm not happy with that. She never visited us again. Well, that house is but also anders geil, ne? Why should? Mr. Patrick, you've been shown. Can I do anything for you? Uh, yes, actually, could you speed up time so I don't? from boredom I fear I may not survive an entire weekend oh, what the fuck oh god sagen die geht doch nicht hier ganz alleine durch die Gegend yeah keep it real darf ich okay wo ist der dritte Stock äh hier waren wir vorhin schon da ist noch Funny bind flurries. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Madame Carla's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. There's no family without secrets, 47. 
but this family seemed to outdo most. American lawyer in the, the small office. Did you check his travel documents? I did, sir. It all checked out. Okay, wo ist denn der dritte Stock? Transfers from the Carlisle account, HTC Depot number 5085. Uh, no, I need it immediately. Yes, I'll hold. Yes, I'm still here. It doesn't exist. What do you mean it doesn't exist? Right. I'll double check and get back to you. somewhere Moinsen, Maga. Sock 3 giftet A Tier 1 Sub 2 Moregor 0815. They have given 511 Gift Subs in the Channel. <lacht> Scheiße, ich kann jetzt. Scheiße, ich kann den Laptop nicht untersuchen. Kann ich seine Leiche nehmen? Ja, oh. oh. <lacht> Flappy Bird. This all confirms that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is, 47. Apri Moinsen. Äh, Sorge, dass du, äh, danke, dass du Morgor hinzugesteckt hast.
Sorry, sir. Not coming through here. Move away. Right now. Thanks. Eh? Hello there, sir. Moin. Sir. Gotta dig this place. Ancestral graveyard, trophy room, and the office safe is hidden behind a portrait with a secret magnet for uncovering. It's got real soul. Both down here? Yep. Yeah, it's impressive, all right. Wir nehmen. Why to come here? For murder. Was the blood? No, not that I saw. All I can think about is those swollen eyes. Hello, this is Cassandra Cox, Edward's ex-wife. I don't know what's going on at your house, but Edward is losing it again. He seems to believe that Alexa has come back from the dead, and that he has to write the eulogy for some make-believe funeral event. I still have the restraining order on him, so whoever gets this message now that Alexa Let's go on is dead, then. better get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than to get the police involved.
Das ist hier nichts weiter, ne? Oben ist nichts. Hä, wo ist denn jetzt die Fallakte? Haben wir das nicht eben gerade rausgefunden? Hä? Die war doch eben gerade markiert. Oder bin ich bescheuert? Also der Safe war doch gerade hier. Das war's? This area is a restricted area and I can't let you in. What? Hey you! What do you think you're doing? Okay. Break. Sag ich doch, da unten irgendwo. What? Please use a trash can, sir. Irgendwo hier unten. Oh, da. No need to panic. Als Büro ein Tresor, der hinter dem Gemälde versteckt wurde. Hä? Wo ist denn jetzt Charles sein Büro? Hey, 
suppose you'll need a new name for your afterlife. How about something? Warte mal, oben auf der Treppe wurde das schräg runter angezeigt. Also irgendwo hier. Aber das ist ja nicht das Büro. Oder ist das hier irgendwo? Stehst du da oben? Dann wurde das so angezeigt. Also irgendwo hier. Hä? Oder war das ganz? Warte mal. Wenn wir da oben stehen, da rein. Irgendwo hier. How are you? Good, thanks. in irgendeinem Raum noch nicht drin? Das waren wir doch überall, oder? Forty-one guests will attend the funeral tomorrow. There's still a lot to see to, but we're in good time, I think. I can't deal with all this pretend funeral stuff just now. I know I have to, but Amy thinks she might be pregnant. I'm going to be a dad. Amy is a great nurse. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. Why waste away? And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That, music makes my heart that leaves so Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here's the material that I prepared for. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Okay. This is very useful information, 47. A quick glance, and I can see that you've already uncovered some relevant facts. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive means an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps do you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Uh -oh. Wo sind denn die Menschen, mit denen ich jetzt reden soll? That is the door to Rebecca's room. Das Ding ist, das haben wir alles schon gemacht, du. 
Kopidilion Moinsen. How are you today, sir? That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Identity. Everything's in order. Rebecca Carla, can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks ah, before they went off for a pint mother. at the local at a quarter to nine. Ah. Who would have thought? I swear, you Gregory enjoys up, Edward's you? discomfort over Staging staying your own death. I had a conference Major call with my New York office at nine, up, so I spent Please. three hours on my Quiet, laptop in Gregory. my room. Well, it shows you're only and human, went after all. straight to bed afterwards. I, never I don't know about guessed. Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do have a lot to see to. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Okay. Patrick Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie uh, for an evening stroll. I, I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? Wo ist denn dieses hässliche Büro, sag mal? <lacht> 